Hey guys, it's me, Ray, and welcome back to my channel. So listen, 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 Linda. <laughs> it has been five years since I've been married. Five years since I've posted the viral video of me purchasing my wedding dress from China. And... Since 2017, I have been receiving so many emails, messages. I just logged into my Instagram since December. I took a break from Instagram and I logged in today in June since December. And I had like over 10 messages from people who saw that video about my wedding dress inquiring about where they can also buy their dress from online. Um, because the, the video received so many questions, I had ended up writing an ebook and, um, with the link, but the dressmaker, which her name is Auntie, received an overwhelming amount of requests and she changed her link and her email address. So the second email that I have for her, for her, for her I just emailed just now. And I'm going to see if I can get an updated link and I will leave it in the description of this video because, listen, I am not trying to hide any information about how you can get an affordable, custom-made, luxury wedding dress for under $1,000 because to me, it does not make any sense. The amount of money that brides spend on wedding dresses, thousands of dollars where that money can be going towards a down payment on a house. That money could be going in the account for a college fund for your baby or future babies. So listen, I am all for saving a coin. And because I just read a few messages from some women, some future brides, it made me come up with the idea to do an updated wedding dress review to see how this, according to some people, cheap dress held up throughout the years. So... I have my dress right here. And this is how I stored it since 2017. Yep. It's just in a bag. And this bag has traveled from New York City all the way to North Carolina. And it's been in a closet, tucked away for five years. So let's see how the dress looks five years later because it was cheaply made according to some people um we're gonna see how it it held up several layers of material um it's actually inside out um and if you saw the photos the dress is very long so i'm gonna see if i can get it in the whole frame <laughs> so this is the inside as I had mentioned in my video there was a bra that was sewn into the bust area and a corset to suck in that waist so this is the inside it's dirty obviously um but this is my dress five years ago <sighs> now your girl's a whole mom crazy how time just goes by so fast okay um let me try to pull it inside out i should put it on yeah i think i can still fit it <laughs> let's see this camera may be too close Okay, so five years later, here we are. This is the back of the dress. And if you watched my video, I'll link it above. You'll see that I basically took a dress that they already had made on their site and I customized it according to... I customized it according to the changes that I wanted to make. So I told her that I had wanted to do a corset 
to suck me in and I wanted it to be a zipper in the back, but these are like faux buttons. You don't actually button these. It's just for design. And as you can see, five years later, and you can see closely how well it was made. Well, well enough for me. And the zipper, let's see if the zipper still works. Yep. The zipper still works. So here is the back. And then here is the front. With my little baby bra. And you can see closely the detail of the stitching. And now this was the highlight. Oh, you probably won't be able to see it all the way in the frame. But this is the train, which is so long, so long, several layers. Let's see, let's count how many layers we have here. One, look how pretty, <laughs> two, three, Four. And then I guess this is the slit. Five layers of material. Come on now. You could not beat that. Like, literally, I did not pay no more than $300 for this dress. Beautiful. And as you can, as you can see in my photos, the dress originally came with straps, but I tucked them in. Because when I put it on, I was like, mm, I'm not feeling the straps. And I wore it as a strapless. So I'm going to give you guys a close-up again of the material, the stitching. And this is my wedding dress that I purchased from AliExpress online, China. She originally didn't have an AliExpress um, shop. But now she has one. And because of the overwhelming request, I could not find the link. I wrote the ebook. You can email me if you want a copy of the ebook because the ebook has way more details about the step by step process. Because listen, this dress is custom made to my size. I did not order like a medium, I took my measurements. And I sent her my measurements from head to toe. So it's literally custom made to my body. Um, in the ebook, you will be able to see um, a guide on how to properly measure yourself. Um, I also included several other links of different online vendors that I've worked with. I had two dresses at my wedding. My second dress was also purchased from a website where they make dresses online, but that one wasn't custom. I just ordered one from the site. Um, what else? Because if you are planning your wedding way in advance, I didn't have time to do this. You can pick your material. They can actually mail you swatches of the material so you can touch it and you can feel it. Me, when I ordered it, I was willing to take a chance because the dress was under three. It was like close to $300. And I was willing to take the chance that if the dress did not look good and if it wasn't to my liking i could have just you know bought something else and i was going to chuck chuck up the loss but if you plan your wedding in advance you will have plenty of time to pick your swatch you know fill the material go over the design um or because she's been doing this for so many years now she may have a dress on the site that she you can have her duplicate um, when I first posted the video, I was able to respond to people right away. And there was several women who you bought the ebook for me, used my step-by-step -step instructions on how to do this the right way, because it's very frustrating when you are communicating with someone that number one, there's a language barrier. Number two, there's a time difference because they're all the way in China, depending on where you're located. I am in America. So there was a time difference. So in my ebook, I give you step-by-step -step guide on how to make this process a stress-free one and there were several women who bought my ebook and successfully got wedding dresses that they were 
pleased with and they sent me photos if i can find those photos i will insert them in the video so that you can see that i am not the only one that was able to have a success story when it comes to buying a dress from china trust me and now you know five years later i'm pretty sure that they have so many more dresses for you to choose from where you can just go on the site pick one choose your size but me, I want it to be extra and I want it to customize it. I wanted the dress to be like, you know, a mermaid fit. I wanted my train to be extremely long. Um, and I'm satisfied. And as you can see, five years later, it looked like I could still probably put this dress on. Of course, it would have to be cleaned. Like, look at that. Look at the detail. And then the end of the train had this design all around the edge. You can see it close up. And my dress was in New York City, like in Harlem. I walked on the street, it, it was dragged around throughout the church throughout the reception hall and it still looks good five years later so listen you know thank you all if you watched my other video my wedding dress review um and if you are interested in buying your dress from the same vendor i emailed her today because i'm telling you i have so many messages and i said i feel bad that i am you know telling people about this great deal and they can't contact her so I emailed her today with the last email, the last working email address that I had. And if she responds, I will share um, her email address as well as a new link that she created in the description box. I will put my email and my Instagram. Please send me messages um, so that I can help you. But you can do it. Trust me. Um, if you plan in advance, you will be able to order something and if it doesn't work out then you can go to plan b don't be like me i did this you know last minute and i was just so happy that i was satisfied and the cut the the measurements were perfect like the dress fit me like a glove so um thank you all so much for you know watching my video and i just want to say one thing if you are here only because you are looking you're doing research on how to buy a dress online um don't just stop there subscribe to your girl like i have other content that you can share you know things have changed five years later i'm a mom now a homeowner living in a new state so i have things to share um so don't forget you know like the video comment send me an email if you want to work and um you know stay here don't leave after you get your dress and you happy stay here for a little while let's let's connect <laughs>